Restoring all your backed up files from Carbonite may take a while to complete, but it's an easy, intuitive process to begin. Let's walk through starting a full restore. First, sign into your Carbonite account at my.carbonite.com. You'll see a list of your backed up devices. Find the computer you want to restore files from and click Get Files Back. Then click Complete Restore. The next screen summarizes the restore process from start to finish. Click Next to proceed. Then click Install. The Carbonite installer file will begin downloading to your computer. When it finishes downloading, open or run the file to install Carbonite. After the installation completes, the restore screen opens automatically. Before the restore can begin, you'll first get to choose how and where on this computer to restore your backed up files and confirm those decisions. If you aren't sure and space allows, you'll have an option to restore everything to a desktop folder that you can sort through later. Click Let's Get Started. You'll first see a summary of what's in the backup, including the hard drives, the number of user accounts, the number of files, and the total size. Click Continue. This next screen allows you to choose where each hard drive in your backup is set to restore to on this computer. If there are multiple hard drives in your backup, you can choose to restore them all to the same hard drive on this computer, as long as there's enough space. When you're ready, click Continue. Next, you'll get to decide how and where each user in your backup restores to this computer. Each user in your computer has its own unique set of files, so it's important to make sure that Carbonite knows where you expect them to go. If Carbonite sees that a user in the backup has the same name as a user on this computer, it will set to restore the backed up user's data to the user with the matching name automatically. But you'll have the option to change that if you like. For any backed up users without a match on this computer, click Choose a Location. You can set Carbonite to restore that user's data to any existing user, create a new user to restore to, or restore all the user's data to a folder of your choice. When you're done mapping users, click Continue. You'll see a quick summary of your selections, including the number of files set to be restored and their total size. Click Start Getting Files Back to begin the full restore. After the restore has begun, the window will display a progress bar, indicating the progress of your restore. You'll also see a pop-up explaining what's happening and what comes next. The restore will proceed automatically from here, and you can use your computer normally while it's in progress. First, Carbonite will recreate all the folders in your backup so your files have places to go. Then you'll begin downloading your files to those folders. The amount of time your full restore will take depends on many different factors, including the size of your backup and your download speed. You'll want to make sure your computer stays on and connected to the internet, even while you're not actively using it, to prevent your restore from being interrupted. If your computer enters sleep mode during the restore, the restore processes can't continue until the computer wakes back up. After the restore completes, it's important to note that some types of files need to be re-imported back into their programs in order for you to continue using them. Some examples are email data and most financial data, among others. You can click the links in the completed restore window for more specific information. For this walkthrough, we'll just click Next to continue. The next screen is a summary of the total number and total size of restored files. The link here opens the Restore Report, which contains much more detailed information about the restored files and any errors that may have occurred. Although your restore is finished at this point, Carbonite is still in Recover Mode, which means it's not adding, updating, or removing anything in your backup. This is to allow you as much time as you need to browse your computer and make sure that you've restored everything you need before making any changes to your backup. When you're ready, click Continue Backing Up in the completed Restore window. You'll see a pop-up summarizing Carbonite's file retention policy. This explains that once Carbonite exits Recover Mode, any files in the backup that are not present on this computer will be removed from the backup in 30 days as part of Carbonite's regular backup maintenance. You can still choose not to resume your backup yet here if you still need more time. But if you're sure you've got everything you need, mark the checkbox indicating you understand what will happen to files that haven't been restored, then click Resume My Backup. And you're done! You've completed a full restore, and Carbonite is now protecting this computer. To recap the full restore process, begin by installing Carbonite. Then choose how and where to restore your backed up data to this computer. Then start the restore, which Carbonite will finish automatically. After completion, import any files that require doing so. 
verify that you've restored everything you need, and resume the backup to resume Carbonite protection on this computer.